Welcome back to Signature IR. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing the affordable Enforce WML X Gen 2 and see if it's the right light for you. First thing I wanna get out of the way is the full disclosure. This light was provided to me. I did not purchase this light for myself and I will be returning the light after this review is complete to Rogue Armament. Jared down at Rogue Armament helped me out with uh, getting this light. As far as my relationship with Enforce goes, they don't know me from Adam, so there's that. All right, unboxing, let's get it out. So it comes with a clamshell, comes with instructions, which we don't need. And there we have it. That's it. This is the Enforce WML X with uh, white light and IR light. All right, let's talk about its construction. So it's primarily constructed from polymer and with some other metal parts, like for the uh, battery sleeve and some of the head components are metal. Uh, the finish on it also is um, this particular model, clearly, is Coyote Brown. They do make it in black as well. I'm not sure what they use. I'm pretty sure it's probably an actual pigment in the uh, plastic that they use to make it that color. I, I don't think this is a paint, um, but yeah. And then I was able to um, get a little bit of footage of this under night vision, which I'll roll in right here. So it actually performs pretty well under night vision. I was actually pretty surprised. So that's good. Let's talk about the controls. So the first control is here on the head and a simple twist. And what that does is I'll show you. We are on the white setting. Lights on, you twist it and the light turns off. This is a safety feature to prevent any uh, accidental activation while it's in a bag or being transported. The switch on the side, like you just saw, this is white. And that's IR, just by a simple flick of the switch. Pretty cool, I, I actually kind of like that. Back here, this is the uh, accidental activation tab. It just simply flips up and locks into position and it prevents any accidental uh, discharges of the light. However, quick note, even with this up and you get your finger in here or your thumb, the light still will activate on the bottom part of the pressure pad, but not so much the top part. Just a quick note. So the mounting of this will mount to any type of uh, Picatinny rail, and it's kind of different. I haven't seen one like this before, but you just unscrew the screw on the side here, and then it's spring-loaded. You put it on your rail and then screw the screw back in, and that locks it down in place on your 1913 or Picatinny rail. White light performance. I'm gonna roll some footage in here and show you a little bit of white, white light performance. Okay, as you can kind of see from the white light performance there that I just shot, um, the white light is, in my opinion, I don't think it's quite the 700 lumens that they claim. Um, I think it's more like 350-ish, but it's definitely enough light to get the job done. It's plenty bright. I, I wouldn't want to like stare into this thing, um, but I don't think it's quite the 700 that's claimed. Uh, also, the spill of the light is very wide and it does not have a very defined um, cutoff line which I kind of like to see in, in, in a nice white light. All right, IR performance. Let's talk about that. I'll roll in some footage here of the IR performance of the light right here.
So it's kind of the same story with the IR light. The IR light uh, intensity is, is still pretty bright for what it is, but because of the very large spill and flood effect of this particular head, um, there's no clear cutoff and it's a very broad white light. But it still gets the job done. It does work as intended. It does provide IR light. So what are my thoughts on this light? Um, I think that for the price point, which usually you can find these at sub $200, this gets you in the door of getting something that has white light and IR light, which is great. Uh, I wish it had a laser maybe built in, um, but it doesn't, and that's okay. As far as the things I like, I like that the pressure pad is directly on the rear so that when this is mounted, you can activate it from the right or the left, depending on which hand you are more predominant with. But I like that, I like that feature. I also like the fact about it that you don't have to run a tape switch and have you know a snaggy wire or run wire management or anything like that. Let's talk about some of the things uh, I'm not too fond of. Honestly, the performance. I wish it was a little bit more focused. If it was just a little bit more focused, this would be even better. But for the price point, this does get you in the door. It does provide you with white light and it does provide you with IR light. And those are the two things that it's marketed to do. And it does those things pretty well for under $200. So I think that's kind of my thoughts on this guy. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think about the this light, if you've used it in the comments below, or tell me in the comments below what light you guys run. And maybe I'll try and get a hold of some of those. All right, guys, thank you for taking your time and spending it with me. Please like and subscribe, for we must pay our dues to the YouTube algorithm gods. And remember, he who owns the night owns the fight. I'll see you guys later.